For nearly five months, a makeshift memorial stood across the street from the school in Leverett's Chapel. It's the site where two pit bulls mauled and then killed 10-year-old Justin Clinton in June. But as East Texas News, Laren Livingston shows us this morning that memorial was removed at the request of the property owners. And for some still dealing with this tragedy, it was pretty hard to take. This should be here. I mean, there's crosses everywhere on the road. Why do I have to take mine up? Piece by specially placed piece, family and friends broke apart little Justin's memorial. They were just heartless people. This is where he took his last breath. And I don't see why we have to take it down. I just don't see why people have to be so cruel. Justin's sister Jessica says she would cross the street every day after school and visit the memorial. Her brother's friends and classmates put it up after he died. We have to go to the same class as he was in last year, and it's just hard. The owners of the dogs which attacked Justin say the memorial was placed on private leased land. There's been numerous complaints. Too many people out here. They requested the memorial be taken down, but declined an on-camera interview. Russ County deputies were on hand to keep the peace. The memorial may have to move, but Serena says her mission is still the same. Either to ban pit bulls or to get a bigger leash law. What happened to my son could happen to any, any child. A law she says no parent should ever have to go through. In Russ County, Lara Livingston, East Texas News Weekend. Now we are told the Russ County DA's office is working with the family to find a legal and more permanent spot for his memorial.